Hello, everybody. The greatest people, those who've made history, are those who've transformed the world. They've taken the world from where it is to where it could be, or more importantly, where it should be. Who are these types of people, and how do they transform themselves and the organizations? Well, first and foremost, they have a dream. They're determined to achieve it. But also, even more importantly, is that they have a desire to change the world to a better ideal. Let's talk about these for the next couple of minutes. First is the dream. They have a dream. They have a dream of something that doesn't exist now, but that could exist. And that's what is a transformational moment, a transformational aspect about these individuals and what they do. You, tra you don't transform your life. You don't transform an organization. Unless you have that dream and for an organization, we call it a vision of something else, something different. That is the basis of where you, when you enter an organization of what you try to do. To take something from where it is to something where it could be. That's determination is the second aspect. To have the dream is one thing, but to be determined to achieve it is another. You'd be surprised how many people have one or the other. They rarely have both. So you have the dream of something better and the determination to achieve it. But you have to have courage. You have to, in some small way, not care what other people think. Because anytime you're going to do something different, you're going to violate those people who never do anything different, who do as they're told. Those people, in many ways, rule the world. Not necessarily for the better, but because they conform. And conformists really have a lot of influence and sway in relation to how organizations and their communities that they operate in work. Which brings us to the third ideal of those transformational people and organizations, is they change the world to a better ideal. They point it in a better direction. When you look at those who truly become transformational, who at the end of their life, people look back and say, they did something of profound importance. They usually moved an organization and not pivoted it to get more customers, but did something unique that lasts in the memory of many people. They took an organization and they took themselves in a place that may have been standard, that may have been the norm. They created something that's abnormal. And people, when they find something that could be done and is done, they admire it. Some, of course, are jealous by it. There's many that admire what has happened. And that's a true lesson as you look to transforming yourself or transforming your organization. There's going to be tremendous resistance to doing anything different. If you do anything different, you're going to stand out. If you stand out, there's a number of people who are going to be jealous and envious of what you've done. That's certainly not your fault. That's theirs. But too many people internalize what other people think of them, and as a result, it colludes their judgment and also prevents them from embarking upon a journey that could take them to the highest roads. But any type of journey of that realm is going to be littered with people who failed and people who often wish that you don't succeed. And so as you go to make a transformational aspect, you really do have to have the dream. Of course, you have to have the determination. But you also got to have a world and want to create a world, of a better ideal, of a better place. That, if you can do that, will not only transform the world that you live in, but yourself as well. Thanks, everybody. Best of luck.